Hello everyone, this is Dr. Irfan Kamaruddin Andani. The topic which I am going to cover today is one couple, two couple system. Although I do not expect this topic from my undergraduate students, but in comment section, many of my viewers have requested me to talk on this topic and try to make it simple for them. So let me try today. We all know that whenever you apply force at a single point away from the center of resistance, like you apply with a removable appliance, there is creation of moment which is rotation of the tooth around a center which is known as center of rotation and it is located slightly apical to the center of resistance. If you want to calculate the moment created in this force system, you will have to apply a formula in which you multiply force magnitude with the force arm, which is the distance from the point of application of force and center of resistance. This is a simple type of tipping in which you do not have any control over the root. If you want some control over the root, then you have to apply braces and move this tooth over the arch wire. When you apply force, initially there will be creation of moment and the tooth will rotate again around center of rotation. But a time will come when the wire will be in contact with the bracket slot at two points. And now there is creation of couple. By definition, it means two forces equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. After the creation of couple, you will have some control over the root movement and this tooth can slide over the arch wire bodily. Even you can achieve root uprighting and torquing after the application of couple. If you want to go through this topic in detail, then you can refer to my previous videos in this playlist of biomechanics. Because today we will discuss one couple system. What is that? According to William Prophet, any force system which meets two criteria will be called one couple system. What are those criteria? Any wire or any spring which is producing couple at one end which is the anchor side and the tooth to be moved or movement unit will receive single force is known as one couple system. The example Prophet has given is cantilever spring which is used to bring this ectopic canine into the arch. You can appreciate that the molar is re receiving couple. However, there is single force on this canine because you have not given bracket on the canine but just an attachment like lingual button. However, there is buckle tube on molar which results in the creation of couple at molar. I will use this example throughout my presentation to elaborate it more. Let's assume that you want to bring this canine into the arch and you have given lingual button or any kind of attachment on this canine, not a bracket, but on molar you have given buckle tube and you are using heavy rectangular wire to make a cantilever spring. When you will activate this wire to bring this canine down, there will be creation of couple at molar and this canine will receive a single force. You can easily understand that canine is receiving extrusive force while molar will receive intrusive force as a result of Newton's third law of motion. Every action has equal and opposite reaction. So this is the first response of the canine to this one couple force system. Intrusion of molar and extrusion of canine. But this is not it. As we all know that all the teeth including this canine is three dimensional structure and you are applying force on the labial surface which is not aligned with the center of resistance. Therefore there will be creation of moment in all three dimensions. So let's study that in detail. Since you have applied 50 grams of extrusive force on this canine but this force is not in alignment with the center of resistance. Therefore there will be creation of some moment. To calculate that moment you will have to use the same formula force into force arm. Force is 50 grams and the perpendicular distance from force vector and the center of resistance let's say it's 4 millimeters. So there will be creation of moment around 200 grams millimeter. Therefore, along with the extrusion of the tooth, the tooth will be distally tipped. 
So this is the second effect of this force system on the canine. Along with the extrusion, this canine will tip distally and the moment created will be 200 grams millimeter. This is not the end of a story. With this extrusive force, this tooth can have other movements as well. Let's assume that this tooth is almost horizontally inclined and the force you are applying is almost vertical. So again, there will be creation of moment in other dimension. If you want to calculate the moment, you will have to multiply 50 grams with the distance from this lingual button to the center of resistance. Let's say this is 5 millimeter. So the moment created here will be 250 grams millimeter and this will rotate the tooth distally along with the extrusion and distal tipping like this so this is the third response of this extrusive force on the canine canine will be rotated distally in what else since you are applying vertical force on the canine but this force is on the labial side it will also create some moment in this dimension as well let's calculate if the distance from the force vector to the center of resistance is 5 mm, there will be creation of moment around 250 gram millimeter again. And this moment is good enough to tip this tooth lingually along with the extrusion. So this is the fourth response you will get from this extrusive force, lingual tipping of canine. So in this force system, you were able to calculate the moment easily. That is the reason why this one couple system is also known as determinate system. That means you can calculate the response of the tooth and the moments very easily, which is not possible or not very easy with two couple system, which we will discuss later on. Till then, have a good day.